My name is Patrick Gadara. I'm a political cartoonist, communications consultant, and a blogger in Kenya. Despite my minority is not treated particularly well by authorities, this is historical. Going all the way back to uh, colonial times, they have been one of the more marginalized communities within Kenya. And given the recent spate of terrorist attacks in the country, there has been uh, sort of an added impetus or an added uh, level of oppression that has come down uh, on them because they are pretty much considered as the fifth column, sort of as the people within whom terrorists uh, are embedded in the country. One might think of the recent crackdown uh, on Somalis. Uh, it's called Usalama Watch, which is an operation carried out by the Kenyan security forces that was purportedly going after terrorists but ended up arresting hundreds of innocent Somali, both refugees and Kenyan Somalis. A lot of them held for long periods without charge and essentially being extorted. The security forces treated them as automated teller machines where they would be arresting huge groups of people and demanding bribes uh, of them. <laughs> The attitudes have, ha uh, have had it. We've had cases, especially in the aftermath of attacks, where Somali people of Somali origin have boarded matatus or buses, public transport buses here in, uh, in Nairobi, and the rest of the passengers actually get off. So there is a lot of fear that is fomented by government of this Somali community, and they have tended to be ostracized more and more following these attacks. Want more? Download the AJ Plus mobile app and join the conversation. Available in your app store now.